I think shoes are really important. When you put them on, they totally change the way that you hold yourself. You, they make you look taller, they make you look slimmer, they make you hold your body in a different way that you accentuate all the best bits of you. I think they're incredibly powerful things. I love visiting Brazil. I love going to see the factory. I feel like they're my family. They have been on this journey with me for the last three years. I remember the first time I went, I remember landing in getting flight and thinking, oh my God, like what am I doing? I'm all on my own. I don't speak a word of Portuguese. I was really scared, but it turned out like the most amazing trip was actually seeing like my shoes finally come to life. To finally see it come into fruition was really special. I chose Brazil to make my shoes because firstly, they have such a rich heritage in shoemaking and they have a real pride in what they do. I can definitely be quite specific sometimes in, in what I want and um, I'm very fortunate that the people in the factory always want to make things how I want them and to my exacting standards. The people in Brazil, the landscape, the energy is just buzzing, it's so colourful. There's just such an amazing vibe out there. It's the perfect place to, to make my shoes. I feel really fortunate that when I started the company, it was around the same time that Instagram was starting. So really early on, we've been able to communicate with women all around the world and um, have that direct communication. I'm so picky and specific about what goes on there and the tone of voice. But Snapchat, I'm a bit more relaxed with. I think it's more, like it's a different audience to Instagram. The thing about Snapchat, it has to be authentic. You can't Photoshop it, you can't pre-record it, edit it, it is what it is. On Snapchat, people get real true insight into what goes on behind the scenes. I come from an art background. I don't come from a fashion background. I grew up wanting to be an artist. I studied fine art. I just think you just gotta kind of stay in your own lane. Nothing Think that you do is too like influenced by anything else. In the studio, the most important thing to me is to have be surrounded by creative and enthusiastic people. And I don't think we get bogged down really by fashion and by trends. We just do what we believe in. I never ever want the office to be a really sterile environment, really boring, when people take themselves too seriously. That would be my worst nightmare. I feel like I've got a really great support system and I never ever wake up on a Monday morning and think, oh my God, I've got to go work today. Buzzing to go. My favourite shoe of this collection is definitely the Heaven Tempest sandal. What's really special about that shoe is that I hand drew the upper onto a plastic form of the last and then sent that to the factory so they could work directly from my drawing. So it's my interpretation of the famous Hokusai wave. But it's a very emotional shoe, I think. Um, and it's definitely a key piece this season. I definitely don't want to be limited to any one type of shoe or one style of designing shoes. My first collection was very much about real statement high heels, but not everyone can wear that type of shoe. Not everyone wants to wear that type of shoe. So when I was at college, everyone remembers me at colleges, I would wear high heels every single day. And then since being pregnant, it's like I just can't do it. So I'm doing sneakers now, I'm doing flat shoes. Go all around the world doing store visits. It's just amazing to see the, the different women that the shoes appeal to. London Fashion Week show is an opportunity for me to showcase the world, how I would envisage the shoes in their ideal fantasy setting. This season I decided to create an underwater mermaid laundrette. What I love about the process of doing a Fashion Week show is that we get to collaborate with so many different amazing creatives. All these different elements of the show, a lot of thought goes into them, a lot of preparation, a lot of meetings. 
It can be a very stressful but rewarding process. For me as a designer it's a real treat to be able to see that something that has come from my head into an actual product onto someone's feet and they're being enjoyed. That is just the dream for me.